I'm leaving the excavation site. <sighs> How did he come down? Gorski signal. So soon? It's unlikely to be him. Then who? Uh, not who, but what? It's weird. You were correct, sir. It's just our probe. It looks inactive. Can't be completely broken if you picked up a signal. I'd say it's running in safe mode. Please try to power it on. Do we have time for this? It's for a good reason, Doctor. The probe could prove useful in the search. And besides, you'll see. Okay. I'm opening the probe. Turning the systems on. No, no, stop. Wait for my instructions. There's a button on the left side of the fuse box. Hold it, and then turn the dial again. And go ahead. Slide records? Correct. I, I didn't know we had access to them. You couldn't have known. This is not standard procedure, but as they say, extremis malice, extrema remedia. Let's take a look. A photo of the first days on the surface. They started exploring the littoral zone almost immediately. They reported as much. Wasn't until the fourth day the comms failed. I recognize these structures. This is where they began to dig. Three crew members are still there. Dr. Gorski must have left already. We lost contact shortly thereafter. The probe followed him, and he followed the detector's readings. Going after those metal structures. Yes, that's what I meant. What's next? Last slide. There's mostly noise. Nothing in particular stands out to you, Doctor. They were digging and suddenly, poof, people are dead. No need to shout, Astrogator. I'm just letting you know what I see. That's all. Uh, hang on. An absurdly high electromagnetic field reading. That's something. Sort of. What are the earlier readings? Checking. Still high in the slide just before. And earlier, quite normal. in a matter of seconds but there's there's nothing except dunes sand a few rocks a shadow a shadow another sandstorm i guess all right doctor let's move on you may turn on the fuses now we'll take the probe with us Now I can give commands to the probe. 
And what do you see? Is it working correctly? If you run it on manual steering, sir, then, then it works just fine. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. You have a keen eye. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. Oh, it'd be nice to have some company. I mean, apart from yours, sir. One second. That's odd. There's no data in the probe's memory. No ID, no nothing. Do you want to give it a new ID? Name it, basically. After all, it'll be with you for a while. So, what's it going to be? Please use your old name. It was Olga, if I remember correctly. Makes sense, given that it's still the same probe. Done. Now, a few more tweaks, and you'll have a flying measurement center at your disposal. these metal structures anywhere the only surface structure the detectors measurement is very clear I'm going straight on no crossroads branches not yet just one thick tangled vein detected something. I see that in the readings. What is it exactly? Well, the structure from the notes, it fits the description perfectly. <sighs> well done, probe. Olga. Right. Well done, Olga. I knew I could count on you. Well, we didn't bring it to the surface for no reason. Even in the first stage procedure. was mentioned in the note around the third point and I have a matching object here all right so how many are left two points or at least that's what he told Koval what he did next it's hard to assess well, the battery and the detector last for only a few hours so he couldn't have gone much further
I found his tracks. Finally, some tangible evidence that he was going this way. Good. It's downhill all the way, Doctor. I wouldn't be so sure, Astrogator. The next point is at a height of approximately 100 meters. Definitely uphill. What if I don't find him at all? You will. Just follow his tracks, Kev. According to our records, it's been no more than six hours since he was here. Think about it, Doctor. On a cosmic scale, it's nothing. Well, on a human scale, it could mean the difference between life and death. I think we have the fourth point. I confirm. It's the fourth one. I see our flag. I'm still here, if you're wondering, sir. It all just takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. is departing. Yes, they're on their way. Thank you for your assistance. Without your help, it would have taken much longer. What's the plan for the second flight? The same place? That would work best. It's certain, proven. When you and Dr. Gorski come back, I'll send the lander right away. <sighs> I've reached the top. The doctor discovers something new from here. Something he called bushes. Huh. I've heard that term before. In their conversations between Kovel and Gorski. No, Jasna. You're the one who reported it to me. Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I... I... I don't see anything like it now, sir. down the parameters. Azimus 350. A distance 200 meters. Copy that. I'm sending the probe. And the doctor? Um, hard to tell. 
Visibility is poor. Huh. It's gonna be harder than before. I don't know how the doctor... <sighs> when it comes to finding a safe route, there won't be a problem. But you'll have to get there on your own two feet. I suppose a probe will carry out the first task. It's capable, yes? Of course. I set the environment analysis mode. The probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. It'll guide you along the defined path. The calculations will only take a moment. Yoga, lead the way. I must say, it's a clever device, this probe of ours. Hey, can I fly for this long? Yes, longer than you can stand on your feet. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. Well, let's not exaggerate. I don't know. For me, it's only a matter of time before machines surpass their creators. The only question is when. serious? Huh. Maybe it's true that machines will surpass us, but not today. The route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can repeat the command. No, no. I'll go around. Uh, unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such mistakes are inevitable. But the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. Exponentially? <laughs> Can you imagine us, proteinaceous creatures, developing so quickly, sir? No, not in the course of evolution. You can't perfect a person like that. That's no. right, you can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. Oh, have you started to fear for your position? Well, everything indicates that the clear distinction between humans and robots will soon disappear. And then what? We won't be limited by our own abilities. Robots will excel in areas where we either cannot or do not want to surpass them. To put it bluntly, they will do the dirty work for us. And we'll just sit in the warm privacy of a laboratory? Send them to the other side of the universe? Yeah. That's one example. Well, I don't know. Shh. Astrogator. Can you hear that? Uh, what am I supposed to be hearing? That's the point. Nothing. Silence. We're talking about robots, and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, I don't know. He must be a long way from here.
Dr. Gorski, are you here somewhere? These bushes are kind of weird. You'd better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Allow me to use the language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So they look like pituitary, brush-like formations. They're high, more or less, from one to several meters. They grow out of cracks in the bare rock. They can be singular, though in some locations they create a uniform thicket that covers the walls of the ravine in a rusty brush-like layer. That's how it looks, to put it briefly. Would you also venture to guess their significance? Some function, purpose? Staying on the topic of biological analogies, these bushes remind me of corals in a purely visual category because they're far from marine organisms. So I would guess that these are colonial structures, perhaps rock-forming ones. However, their main structure has nothing to do with corals. No noticeable mesenchymal tissues, no nidocyst, matocyst, or spirocyst, no visible oral discs. All right, all right, Doctor. I didn't ask for a marine biology lecture. Astrogator, Gorski's not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. And if he went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. So we will most likely lose contact too. Uh, possibly. Well, there's only one way to be certain. It's your decision, sir. Please continue your search. We have to find him. That's the unwritten rule, isn't it? Under no circumstances do we leave anyone behind. That's right, Doctor. You can lose everything else, but you have to have the crew on board. The living... The line's breaking up, but I understood. I'll let you know, sir, when I come out of the tunnel. Astrogator, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Any side effects? Landing wasn't too hard on you? All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Perfect. Hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly. going outside. Visibility? 100%. The dust has already settled. Oh. I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, oh, very good. I was afraid they might try to fly off, which wouldn't be the best idea given the loss of communication with Dragonfly. Sir, something's wrong. 
What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You were the last person in contact with the crew, Doctor. Right. I'm inside. And? How is it? Even if they wanted to, they couldn't go back to Dragonfly. Their lander looks damaged, to put it mildly. Or more accurately, it, it seems like a storm has passed through it. Understood. I mean, I don't understand how it happened. But that means... Hopper is the only vehicle that can take us home. Affirmative. Right. But then we can't afford another mistake. I'm taking the lander into orbit. I'll send it directly to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing zone. We've gotten out of worse than this. Equipment breaks from time to time, that's normal. But now... Go ahead. What's bothering you? This lack of communication. It takes too long. Especially considering there's a cyberneticist amongst them. Yes. It worries me too. How do you know? Are there any signs of the crew? Some slob left lit here. Have no respect for an alien ecosystem at all. What kind of litter? A cigarette butt. A crumpled pack. So, taking off the helmet for no good reason. Risk of igniting a dusty atmosphere. Irresponsible spreading of DNA. Compared to this, the damage of an already extinct ecosystem is basically a negligible issue. Security procedures exist for humans. The rule of integrity is for the sake of everything alien to us. We shouldn't place one above the other. You say, yes, the mission and the safety of our people have the highest priority. Are we really that self-righteous? Of course, Doctor. We must be the I have most an object important in sight. to ourselves. And they must be the most important to themselves, whoever they will be. Interruption, sir. Can you please confirm that I'm on the correct route? Yes, I confirm. This way will reach the camp within an hour. So, continuing.
this road may be faster, but it's not the easiest. Anyway, back to our conversation. structure it looks like some spiky metal growths artificial plants is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure oh, i've never seen anything like this i wish i had time to run some tests when the situation is stabilized we will take samples i promise You there? Over. I guess that's a no. I'm back. Is everything all right? Yes, yes, all good. They're already in the infirmary on life support. We found them in time. How about their reactions? Have they regained consciousness? I mean, Maybe one of them said something. Yeah, unfortunately, they're still unresponsive. I'll let you know if anything changes. I'm doing an EEG on them right now. I confirm. Gorski was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. <sighs> Why hasn't he yet? I'm going down after him. Tell me one more thing. When it comes to Marit, are you going to use a grave tupper? Yes. I am considering that as a possibility. And what is your opinion? Should we look into it? One sec. Oh, I'm at the end of the rope. Isn't that good? Not at all. What do you mean? I'm stuck. 
I'm hanging with all my weight on the rope, away from the wall. There's still a fair few meters left to the ground. Can we go back? Using just my hands, strapped with all this extra weight? No, not a chance. What if you sway? I can just jump off. Is that safe? A substantial fall on unsteady ground. This is hardly a maneuver that I would describe as safe. So let's take a moment to analyze the situation. I'm thinking if Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything. Yeah, we don't know that, Yasna. He could keep going even with injuries. So, do you have another idea? Oh, will I be hanging like this until the end of time itself? There is a certain possibility, or rather uncertain, but maybe it's worth trying. I'm listening. Can you see the probe? Yes. It's flying near me. Good. If I instructed it to fly as close as possible to you, you could grab onto it. Are you sure it will hold me? That I cannot guarantee. All right. Let's give it a try. I'm entering the instruction. You must guide me. Two meters forward. Stop, that's enough. You have a really good eye. Exactly two meters. <sighs> it's the maneuver. You could say so. <sighs> I fell from a lower height. It was a soft landing, though. with Regis a few minutes after noon. Even then, Dr. Gorski was walking alone. Communications blew up shortly before he got here. He didn't take a tent. Anyway, what's the idea of doing it alone? Damn. This place is amazing. It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. That's why Dr. Gorski, not to mention the Alliance. Well, if we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. They look like a city. Are you saying that... No, no. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. <sighs> Left or right... I'll try to walk this kind of bridge. Two more hours. Huh? That's all of course we have left of oxygen, at best. And at worst? He's just finishing it up. Though it all depends on his activity. If I remember correctly, there was a risk of methane poisoning. That's right. According to Dr. Crowter, negative symptoms can appear after an hour. Maybe after a few hours. I think you'll find Gorski by then. Let's hope so. Everywhere? Yep. 
Wherever I look, there's metal. capacity of this place is difficult to predict. Ah! Uh, again! Maybe you should use the detector. Will indicate the thickness of the structures. Oh, I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but the oceanic forms here are similar to those on Earth. So there should be similarities on land as well. Similarities? Life, Astrogator. I still think there should be life on the surface of Regis Three. <sighs> Out of the frying pan. <sighs> Into a hole. Yes, sir. The sinkhole? Uh huh. <sighs> I found some abandoned items. Something he shouldn't have left behind. A telemeter and food rations. Agreed. He shouldn't. It's illogical. I can see the relay up close. Looks broken. Such damage could be caused by a local meteorological phenomenon. A severe thunderstorm with lethal and electrometeors. So, the weather is to blame for all of it? Well, I can't think of a better explanation at the moment. Traces, this time handprints, and a drop detector. What? Did I hear you right? Yes, sir, you heard correctly. I'm afraid we must be ready for any eventuality. Yeah, well, that doesn't mean we should assume the worst. I still believe you'll find him, Doctor. something again I'm I suspect Gorski might have damaged his suit if the tear doesn't exceed 20 millimeters the reactive polymer layers will self-seal that's true never no one of sound mind would decide to go down this way and yet Gorski
Not a chance. I have to turn back. position. in a sinkhole. Doctor, answer me, please. He seems unconscious. Gorski, come on! Calm down, Doctor. Get him out of there. The probe's already looking for a man. <sighs> okay. Let me just... Uh, I'm, I'm pulling him... Uh, out. <sighs> Done. He's out. <sighs> I activated his SOS. You should pick up a transmission with his parameters, sir. Well? No, nothing. The transmitter in the suit must be too weak. Should I retrieve his booster from the backpack? <sighs> no point. Better to set up a relay. We have to do it anyway so that Hopper can land in this maze. Have a preliminary scan of your surroundings. There's an open area nearby. You have to move Gorski there. The bridge will guide you. But he's not stable. I must share my oxygen with him, Astrogator. You need a spare for that. The protocol doesn't provide for connecting two suits at the same time. In that case, I'll give him my tank. Negative. I want him out of the house. Use the The doctor won't carry you. The 
The membrane looks intact. What did you say? Here. Hold on, Gorski. Yes, the sun is not Please repeat. It's nothing, Astrogator. Some static on the line. Sort of. Yes. Once you set up the transmitter, I should start receiving Gorski's signal. Thank <laughs> you. 